our engagement starts, it, it needs to start with a series of foot sweeps. Uh, it's sort of like proximity. Uh, where's where's my, like my boxer, right? I don't want you to hit me. Right? Is I, I need to use my long range tactics. And long range for me is to create some movement with my feet before I close the engagement with my hands before we finally are committed for hips, right? So from a, uh, from a concentric circle or range and proximity, once I start the engagement out here, I'm gonna you know, attack his bad ankle and make him move his foot, <laughs> right? So I need to start creating movement. You know, It may or may not work. I may not be able to throw him with this, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna stage and set up my other throws. Uh, anybody who is trained who's even been here more than a month, no one's gonna let you just walk in and knock it out of the park, unless it's Andy, you know, then maybe, so, you know, I All right, so the last one we're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do from the inside, right? So the other one we did, I wanna do a Ko Uchigari from the inside. And what I wanna do is I wanna take a same lapel side. Now, I have to create an attack off of this, and what I wanna do is I wanna make sure I'm inside. Here. And I need to make him step. Okay. So again, whether he gives me a nice wide stance, I'm here. Follow up with the kobuchi. Follow up outside with the kosoba. Right. There's a drill that we do. Two. Three, four, right? Inside or outside, I'm going to attack. Now, the geometry for this is, is critical. Um, when I get him to step, I'm going to get him to step down with that red line. When I drop him, his head should be facing that direction. Once I once I start sweeping without even watching, I'm gonna put my right foot right where my left foot is, and I'm gonna sweep down that red line. Now I need to be careful that I keep this foot open, get a nice range of motion. So same thing holds true, however the geometry works out. As I get in here, I'm going to step to the center, pull, and as I'm pulling, I can attack, okay? Again, I'm coming to the Achilles tendon. I'm turning my foot up, and I'm sweeping in the direction of his toes. I'm not trying to break his ankle, okay? Now, in the natural course of walking, it's a series of rise and fall. My foot rises, my foot falls. My foot rises, my foot falls. If I catch it on the upswing, he will simply retreat. I need to commit him to a step forward and exaggerate it a bit so that I drop him, okay? So take it slow at first. work that timing out. Foot sweeps are 90% timing and opportunity. So your hands create the opportunity, hit the timing right, and it's a simple home run. One, two, three. Cut.